Right, so hi guys, um, frustrating today, isn't it, really? Yeah, that's the perfect way to sum it up, it's just a frustrating game. Well, not a frustrating game, there's a clear frustration to it, but we won't talk about that. Yeah, because I mean, again, we've done it well, we've actually got first half and we scored twice. Been struggling to do that, so it's got to be good from that point of view. Yeah, we've worked on a few things in training. Um, scoring from certain areas being one of them and it's good to see that coming off today with, with specific passes that we've worked on to come through so yeah it's good it, it, things are going to take a while to come through and we keep saying that and it, it's starting to get there so um, we saw a lot more of that today so yeah it was pleasing yeah so it's like the, um, the first goal from a corner like that that looked like a, 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 a pre-worked on corner it's a good area, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's a good, good area. Like, like to be fair, we work on areas. Con's put it in a great area, and Trev's, you know, it's a good header, isn't it? It is a good header. So, pleasing to score from a set piece. Because yeah. I feel like we've threatened like we're going to score a lot from set pieces, mm -hmm. but we haven't quite converted that into goals, actual goals. So, yeah, that was good. Yeah, but I thought both goals were actually were, were good, good goals. They are things that we've worked on, to be fair. Yeah. Um, yeah. Both of them are, are, are things that we've been doing since pre-season, so it's, it's good to start seeing it coming off. Yeah. But I think it's not just not the goal, so it's like you say, you can start, we start seeing shape now on, on jobs, it's like Connor and Palmby in the middle never stop running, breaking up the ball, breaking up the play, all that sort of thing, you know, you got how many times do you, you got guys running through the middle, it's, it's great to see, it's a proper game plan at last. Yeah, to be fair, we've said it a few times. Um, when you've got personnel there more regularly that we've been able to work with and get out onto the pitch, it does make a big difference. So we keep saying it will take time, it will take time, and it is still going to take time, but we are start, starting to see it, starting yeah. to see it. So it will still take a lot more time, but it's not really a surprise. And again, whilst we have done it in patches today, we haven't done it for the 90 minutes, so there is still a lot more work to do. But um, yeah, we're starting to see a bit of a more plan that we're trying to work towards now. Yeah, because I think you can see that guys all know their jobs, but then cover it's like Joffy. He was playing ten midweek. You had him, you know, as a centre back. Then he's out as a wing back, and I think that typifies the team, the attitude you got. They just all want to do it. Well, without trying to say what formation we're playing, yeah. what positions we've got, yeah, we've got a lot of us to the squad. So that's a big positive. We I mean, work with a lot in um, defensive areas as well, don't you? So yeah. So we're having in that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's it's a good squad, isn't it? It well, you know, um, and there's still people, you know, Frank's obviously, you know, he's, he's had a social engagement today, which fair play, you know, we don't own these boys, but they're not, they're not contracted to us, so you've got to accept that. It's disappointing not to have Frank in the side because he was exceptional on Tuesday night, but then again, if Joff can slip in there, and then when circumstances change, Matty's got to come off, you know, to be fair, Matty's foot's a state, he's got, he's got a foot full of blood, to be fair, so but then to be able to bring Dan Tier back in, who again, superb defender. It's, it's good for us, isn't yeah, it? Like, it's the, good squad's, the squad's strong. It's strong, and, and that's why it's, it's difficult today, because from my point of view, first half it felt like a game we were only going to win, but then because of the chaos that kind of ensued, thanks to the bloke with a beard and the whistle, it, 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 at some points felt like we could lose it, you know? So it's, it's topsy-turvy, isn't it? Yeah. I can't like, like, edit that out. <laughs> 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 but it, it's true, I mean, without criticised him too much, it was just odd, bizarre decisions and if he hadn't listened to his linesman he would have allowed them to win and it was like there was no way that should have happened. No. So it's, you could have been knocking it, your head it, against it a brick wall at times. Keep happening. Unfortunately we can't even have a discussion with them, it's not even a case of kicking off or, because I'd like to think generally, we don't really, I mean there's been incidents this year that's cost us points in almost, more than a handful of games, let's say that much. Um, and we're never there on the sidelines screaming and shouting at them. We're always respectful, but you can't even have the conversation. And look, it's, there's 90 minutes in a game. They can't affect all 90 minutes, but there are a lot of decisions that are contributing to us losing points. Um, let's, let's be honest, mate. The, the, the Blair equaliser, their own. Um, to be fair, their, their bench was miffed about about the officials in general as us today. And I'll be fair, the linesman on our side was actually all right, wasn't he? Like, at, least, at least he was prepared to engage and explain to the best of his ability, but he's not making the key decisions. They, Blair even saying, that's never a corner for the equalising goal. But it is what it is. 
you know, you can only control the controllables, and unfortunately, those, you know, the officials are, are out of our control. So there's no point painting a hard luck story. It doesn't get us anywhere. We, we possibly had enough chances to win it. We scored two goals, which I guess that's, that's a positive, isn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's what you have to take the positives out of it, and we have to look at the what you might perceive as negatives. Like again, if we're if we're being really critical of it, all right, the decisions gone the wrong way, but there's still an opportunity to prevent them from scoring and we haven't so we have to go and look at that because clearly those sort of decisions are going to continue to happen so yeah. we need to be on point for 90 minutes. For the first goal is a little bit disappointing because I feel like we had a couple of chances and the boys have held their hands up and, and that's great they're going to be accountable <coughs> but you know history yeah well we were we'll it, it was right in front of us in line and you can see when the guy hit it oh, he's, yeah, he's he shouldn't have been allowed to hit it but once he as he was coming to hit it, you could just see the curve on the ball I'm amazed that Tubble, Tubble even got a hand to it. Yeah. He got his hand to it and it was miles away. He should no way he should have got, got yeah, that near he even. Won't it it won't was just a beauty. You've got to accept that as a beauty. Yeah. It really Probably was. The best, the best strike anyone scored against us oh, this easy. season. Yeah. But we've had two opportunities yeah. to clear our lines and then no one's even talking about the strikes. It's in Rose Ed. That's what's the good thing is you went literally straight back up the end and scored though. Yeah. Three yeah. goals in three minutes, to wasn't be fair, it? That's a really pleasing thing for us because we were talking about the emotion of the group and, and how we respond to things. That you can get a better response to that, so that's yeah. probably more pleasing than how we scored. You know, yeah, it's just irrelevant. The, the fact that we dealt emotionally with that well is, is massive. For us. Yeah. It, it, it feels like we're making steps forward because everybody in there is like, well, it feels like we're almost like we lost and we've drawn. Yeah, you know, that's a big step forward from where we were. We're thinking, you know, bloody hell, how's that happened? And, and, and Blair are hard to beat. Like, yeah. like to be fair, that's their fifth draw out of seven league games, so. You know, they've only got turned over once. They, they put seven past case ball. Mm. So I mean, sometimes, you know, if you're not going to win, just lose. don't lose. But I think the, the boys stood because um, they're a big team and we stood up to them really well, I thought. Yeah. Again, this is something that Ivesy's worked on a lot. It's not always about size. We've got to have five. Um, that, if we're taking again a positive from case ball, what's that is one positive we take from it that we realised the lack of fight that was in there. We made the changes we needed to make, and since then, three performances have, have been full of fight and yeah. heart and a bit of passion. So, there's a lot of building blocks that we're starting to piece together. Still yeah. seven out of nine, isn't it? In terms of points on the board, three home games, seven out of nine. You probably have took that, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah three undefeated. Yeah. So you, really you, know, you start making yourself hard to beat, and. Um, you know, you, you get a bit of momentum. I mean, you, you commented on Tuesday night, Will, when, when I spoke to you. The atmosphere in there, the boys are all still in there. L literally 90% of the squad are still in there now, hour after kickoff. Put it in context, I got home at 11 o'clock and I left you. Well, should have come out with you tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go? Didn't you <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but, uh, but, so what, what, what happens now between now and next week? Do you take lessons we've learned or do you start a different game plan? We, to be honest, we've, um, we're have we always clipping, so between ourselves and Dan, we divide up what we're going to look at. Um, Ivesy does a lot with the defensive stuff, between Dan and I we're looking at the attacking, um, goals created, goals against, but also chances created, chances against. So we do that after every game, win, lose or draw. Um, so we continue to review that and then we build a plan ahead of how we progress ourselves, but also towards the team that we're going to play against. So it'll be no different to yeah. that, to be honest. Because Stansfield have started well, so they've got to be sort of a bit trepidatious. But actually, the last three games puts the squad must be in a much better mind place at the moment and ready to go for it and feeling quite optimistic. You, you build momentum. I went to watch Stansfield um, Canterbury, so I've got a good idea of how they play. Again, we'll discuss it, we'll go through how they play, how we best counter that, how that works within our squad. Um, but yeah, momentum is starting to build. The, the, the boys are starting to come together. We've got people back regularly. It, it all starts to go from there. Yeah, it seems like it's settling. Mm. Yeah, agree. Now, I think you had one. Like we, we had a bit of a difficult August, didn't we? For, for, for you know, it's, it's hard, isn't it? Like, there's been a massive transition here. You know, Luke's had to oversee a massive transition, turnover of players, massive amount of instability off the pitch. You know, and and you know, it would have been great if we could could have hit the floor running, but but you know, for various reasons outside of our control, we couldn't. But now we. Now we've got the settled group. You know the results are start starting to, build, to come. Yeah. You know, and we've always said it's long term. This is a long term project. You, you, if you're going out trying to fix something in the short term, it's not going to last. I, I'm, 
I'm convinced of it. You'll be inconsistent, you'll win some, you'll lose some. We've got to find a formula that works with a group of people yeah. that, that work. You know, it's all good having good technical players, but as people, if they've not got the right attributes that bring the group together or get the fight on the pitch, then it doesn't work. So short term, we could get some answers, but it's not going to benefit us long term. So we have to get the balance of both. Chris, it's like talking to, to Trev and Jack earlier, they were saying, you know, when they got here, most of the players didn't even know each other. They'd no. never met. Seven and yet now they're in the bar afterwards getting on really well. Seven players we kept from the previous squad last year. So that's a big turnaround of players to, to bring together, like you say, as people. And, and the boys that have come in have come in from <coughs> all, all different quarters. It's not like we've like, you know, bought a minibus in from, from, from another club. So, so these boys are they're all starting to get to know each yeah. other now and starting to get to know the coaches and we're starting to get to know each other. and. It's yeah. good, I mean, to be fair, me and you ain't worked together since I think it's 2015. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, like we, we speak a lot, but that's, that's completely different than being on the training ground yeah. together, and that's it. Well, I think that's starting to show through, though, now, isn't it? Yeah, we love it. Hopefully. Yeah, we <laughs> do. <laughs> we want to be together. <laughs> we, we <laughs> <be> friends, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, you know, as long as you guys are happy, because uh, it's disappointing to drop points on. yeah. We are disappointed, like, let's be honest, we're going to put on a brave face when we come on here, but we are disappointed to <coughs> points at home. But as long as, as long as you know, I don't know what the crowd was today, but... 330, that's so that's minute. all that's been 300 good. while we've been here. But this is the thing, but, and this is what I said at the beginning, we will genuinely be disappointed with this. We'll come away and, and we'll discuss how it could be better, what preventables caused us to not pick up three points. So again, when you're talking long term, that's the kind of thing that we're installing into players and it starts to whip them through. So. Yeah, because I think that's getting through at the fans, because you said, actually, everybody's really pleased, but really disappointed in the same breath. And how many times have we said that this